Hi everybody, uh, my name is Ayush Halde. I am from Mumbai. Uh, like most of you, even I have always been a defense aspirant. And I recently got recommended from 3 AFSB Gandhi Nagar for AFCAT entry for the Indian Air Force. And prior to this attempt, I have been to the SSB three times. Uh, once during NDA where I got screened out, whereas after that, during graduation, I went for OTA and as well as one a, uh, SSB at uh, two AFSB Mysore. Even in both these attempts, I got uh, conference out. So this time during my preparation, I had again began my preparation during the lockdown. And while I was looking at multiple sources, etc., I understood that uh, I have that passion in me, I have that zeal in me. And my personality was also such that uh, I was keeping up to whatsoever the requirements were. But I think that somewhere it was, uh, there was a mismatch between what the SSB was expecting and what I was delivering. Or probably I was not able to understand myself to the best. So as like most of you must have been doing, even I kept scrolling through YouTube. And while scrolling through YouTube, I came across the channel of Lakshi Academy. Uh, when I saw a few videos, when I saw two, three videos, I found it to be very different, frankly speaking. I did not know if it was right or wrong at that point of time. I felt that uh, whatever Colonel Yudhir Singh was explaining, it was something which was not happening in any of the other classes. No other SSB class or no other SSB videos uploaded by any academy was telling that. While I felt most of them were preparing us specifically for SSB, uh, the videos of Lakshya Academy were, I think, more inclusive and it included a practical approach which I think would also help everyone going ahead. So, since I liked the few first few videos, I kept on uh, seeing more and more, more and more videos. Now, as and when I kept seeing more and more videos, my interest grew and uh, obviously I was getting to know something different. So, that kept me entangled. So anyway, uh, I'll tell you how my SSB went and I'll tell you how the preparation or how I the videos that I saw from Lakshya played a major role. Frankly speaking, I had never contacted sir. I had never been in touch with sir or the only thing that uh, was a connect with him was that I had seen his videos. And I think it's a brilliant set of videos, a brilliant set of collection of ideas that is there and which is helping me and I'm sure there have been a lot of other people that I've met. So it has helped them. So coming to talk about my SSBs, uh, we reported 164 people and out of which 54 had got screened in. So as sir used to always say that, you know, do not push for your own story. See what the group is feeling. See what is the general consensus. And when you are someone who is reciprocating, if you say per se, out of a group of 10 people, if four people are saying that a uh, specific idea, and if you say that, okay, I think since four of us have said this, let us go ahead or probably this might seem, uh, let us conclude or probably, you know, let us take the story ahead from here. So these four people automatically agree with you as well as slowly and steadily, even the other people come and agree with you. So I think that is how my uh, discussion helped me as I, I did not nominate my own story. My story was very different from what everyone said, but I did not push on my story. Whereas I observed that what, what was the story of most of the people and I tried and uh, we togetherly made a, uh, made a, made that story group common story as the conclusion. So once that happens and uh, prior to that, I think during the narration, you need to be crisp because the officers, they don't assess us, they don't give you a lot of time. So as sir used to say in his videos, be crisp. What is uh, shortly described is 26, 26 year old male in a positive mood, 35 year old female in a negative mood. Uh, in my story, I've perceived uh, my central character is so and so, and he's going here. He saw this is happening. He felt the need to uh, be there or something. And then he went, He there was a problem, he solved it. And then he reached to its conclusion or something like that. It will differ for everyone. But this was something that I followed and it helped me. So out of 164, around 54 of us got screened in. So out of which 25 were repeaters and uh, 29, the rem uh, remaining 29 were freshers. So this journey, uh, after that first day we rested. The second day, uh, what happened is we started with the psych tests. So in the psych tests, what happened is uh, during the TAT, firstly, uh, previously I think I was very short sighted. So I used to only solve momentary problems per se that he has to, his mother is uh, ill or something, something like that, very common stories. However, uh, when I saw the videos of five BRCC, 
where there is five point perception brainstorming etc connectivity so certain exercises like brainstorming and connectivity they help me understand what is not visible in the picture suppose if i was seeing uh, i had one picture where a boy was only running so i said that okay this boy is running because what i thought is he is an athlete he got to know about the university games that are happening in the next two months so he approaches his coach so he takes some guidance from his coach he constantly keeps practicing he makes a time table he is coach advises him to make certain forms changes in his running form and technique etc he also improves his diet habits he also gathers a few friends along so which uh, his motivation also increases so i think all these resources were not available in the picture but because i was doing brainstorming and connectivity i was able to understand all these things so that is what helped me in tat i think in wat i did not practice anything as such specific to wat but connectivity which i had been practicing so that helped me improve my responses in wat i tried and show my qualities in most of the wat responses uh coming to srt i tried to finish maximum srts i gave uh, i finished around 59 srts out of 60 so i was writing very fast and the other thing was i did not write very long sentences so i used to write if there was if say per se there was one srt where i said that you are going to office and on the way you see an accident so i used to write okay he stopped his vehicle went there gave first aid to the patient put him in his car took him to hospital and uh, informed his family members and then went for work so i used to write comma 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 and used to put multiple actions that i felt uh, was saving my time and also helped me explain my personality better coming to self description i think in the previous two attempts uh, previous two attempts that i got conference out my self description was not up to the mark because uh, my introspection was not very deep it was very surface level and i did not know myself a lot so sir when sir used to say that you know think more think more think more i used to like i actually gave time to sit and just think like do nothing but just think as in what could be better in me what is something that i can improve etc so while i had been doing this i had a deeper interaction and deeper connect with my family my friends my employer my friends and as well as myself so this time i think it was much more realistic whereas last time i also wrote some things which were not exactly true i probably tried to show myself as an ideal person or a better person whereas sir used to always tell ki aap ye sab kyu karte ho tum jo ho like aapki jo personality hai let it be yourself do not change yourself the only thing one must do is to improve and enhance like identify what are the scope for improvements and enhance and maine wahi kiya i understood that uh, to a very large extent my uh, year i'll come to role play uh to a very large extent i was uh, not available for my friends uh there was a time when i did not uh, follow a lot of things that my parents told me or i was not helping them a lot so one thing that sir used to tell me that uh, sir used to tell in the videos that uh you know when everybody around you recommends you ssb will automatically recommend you when your parents recommend you jab aapke maa baap when you are doing some good work when you are helping them at family work when you are being good to them when you are following all their orders when you are obeying them so obviously they recommend you like they will say that okay my son is the best when you are there for your friends when your friends can trust you when you help them when you have a good connection with them when you enjoy with them so your friends will tell you are this is an ideal friend so you have been an ideal friend you have been an ideal son similarly when you are responsible and do all tasks well at work your boss will also say that okay he is a responsible person so that you are also playing that role well and at the end at the core of all of this is about yourself so how you understand if you feel that you know you are constantly improving you are constantly changing the status as sir used to say i used to be uh, very much i used to be used to procrastinate previously so i decided no i want to change this so i started making my own time table i used to put it in that in the time table you so i used to star mark things that are very important for me so i kept on doing these things and over a period they helped me mera concentration kafi kam tha i used to easily get distracted even now if you see this video i am looking here and there sometimes so this was even more previously so i started doing meditation every day around half an hour in the morning and around 15 20 minutes in the night i do meditation 
that has helped me and i have wrote, wrote all these things in the uh, self description and they have been i have also been asked them in the interview so i was able to answer because this was something that was not that, that not anything that i had seen anywhere or not something that someone else had told me this was something that i was you know, putting into practice in my life so that is why i think this was very important and very helpful then another thing uh, that happened after the psych was the interview i was amongst the first four people to be interviewed in my batch so uh, during the interview the first thing since i came from mumbai so he had asked me about uh, covid he asked me about how is the situation of covid in mumbai and he asked me why is it so bad so uh, firstly if the first thought that only came to my mind is the healthcare service being inadequate in mumbai but uh, that was the point where i re- recollected five point perception so i thought ki no this cannot be only one thing so then i decided so then i told him how we have a lot of migrants how the urban infrastructure is crumbling how the rains have come that have also called uh, that have also led to a lot of uh, lot of clear unhygienic conditions how people uh, live crumbled in certain slums how common sa- sanitation facilities did, do they use and then we also had the vande bharat happening so most of the international people they were coming either to mumbai or delhi and a lot of people international travelers uh, were called to for bringing in covid in mumbai so i like from five point perception i got around five to six points so i think that was one exercise that helped me in the first question and believe it or not the interviewer was very happy to know this because this was the first question he shot at me and you know since i gave so many multiple uh, multiple reasons for whatever i was seeing he was very happy then he asked me a similar thing about rains he sim- asked me similar things about floods so again i could give him not five but around three to four reasons i gave him as in why mumbai floods every time then he started shooting me uh, with the rapid fire questions tell me about your school life tell me about your marks etc etc so uh, in sir one of sir's videos uh, sir also tells that someone who understands the question really well here also he can bring five point perception as one perception is your academic parts the second part is the time spent with family third sphere could be friends fourth year sphere could be sports fifth could be extra curricular activities or probably the leadership wherever some positions of responsibility you took so from all the questions that he asked me in rapid fire i categorized them accordingly starting from my education my family my friends my sports acti- uh, achievements and my extra curricular achievements so this helped me ensure that i could not miss out uh, i did miss out like he must have asked me around 20 questions or 20 to 30 questions in rapid fire so i did miss out one or two questions so he asked me and i answered them so but uh, i was able to grasp the maximum of the questions i think this was mainly because of this then as i went forward in the interview he kept on asking me about uh, what what will this friend of yours tell me about you what good thing will he tell you so i think that happened i could answer all those things because i was very much connected i start i realized that you know i am not giving time to my friends i am not talking a lot with them so i started connecting with them and you know that helped me eventually because they you know we think even i used to think that i do not need to approach my friends that previously what i used to do what i used to feel ki mera friends mere bare mein ye sochte honge to main wo likh deta tha but when you actually go and talk with them there is some difference not a lot but probably they will give you one or two points which you might not be able to think which you might not be able to have an idea of so my connection with friends helped me uh, do this then you also asked me about family and everything how do you spend time with family what are the activities that you help them so when sir used to say that you know this this used to be the part of the role play so how do you play a better role so when i was at home when i was preparing i used to write everything ki i i i have a habit of maintaining my personal diary and journal so in that i always used to mention uh, what did i do at home today how did i help my parents so probably what did i not do very well something that i could have improved or probably some if i have been rude or not nice to someone how could I, how can i improve it tomorrow something that i used to write so this uh, created a lot of information so when he told me that what is the what are the kind of roles that you have played at home or then he told me okay you since you tell me that you like to change a lot of things so what are the things that you have changed at home so i told them how i changed the food food eating habits 
how I helped everyone come up with exercising habits, how everyone we spent a family time together, we played board games, etc. How uh, we did some started some gardening at our home during the COVID COVID uh, lockdown. So I was able to tell all these things since I had written and since I had done all this introspection very well. And the best part was that I was always being truthful. Last two attempts, this had happened that at times I was lying. And believe believe me, they, they are so sharp and they catch. And then you are forced to say one lie after the other. And that has happened with me. So this time I ensured that no, I will not let that happen. I will not lie. And anything and everything that's there, I'll be truthful. So that was about my interview. My interview went for around an hour or 10 minutes, hour and 10 minutes. And he did not ask me a lot of GK. Uh, they are much more interested in knowing as in what is your personality and how uh, how exactly are you improving since the last attempt. So I told them everything that I've done. I told them how I have been going through everything that I've been done previously. And then uh, after the interview coming to the GTO, so what used to happen previously for my previous attempts, I have always taken a lot of books with me. I used to have one book for IO, one book for psych test, etc, etc. But uh, this time I decided that I kept all those books home. I only took a personal diary with me and a book that has my, uh, I write, where I write down my GK. Apart from that, I spent my entire time interacting with my group. So I helped them during the approach, whatever difficulties they had, we helped them. We had a really good time. We enjoyed, we played a lot of uh, games together. We played Caram and some more other indoor games over there. So we played a lot of indoor games together, etc. It was a really good time that we spent. And uh, during this time, they had a lot of questions like many of my batch, uh, group mates. So I tried and helped them always. So when I when they saw that, you know, uh, he's giving some valid points and he's trying to help us. So it helped me during the GD and JTO, etc. Because even then they know that this guy is something that he's reliable. He has been helping us even there. So, you know, he is has been helping us, us even here. So that is how even they listened to me and our group coordination was very effective. So all our group was very good. And during the different things, uh, I'll say that during the group discussion as well, five point perception helped me. Uh, our topic was why, uh, why, what will help the digital payments to increase in India? Is it the infrastructure? Is it the incentive? Or is it the, is it, uh, is it the mindset? So in each of these, I tried identifying five, five different uh, areas. And in infrastructure, I understand that infrastructure starts from the roads that are going to village to the use of mobile in village to the network in villages to infrastructure can always be two end for digital payments it could be at the receiver's end as well as at the other person's end who's the sending so i talked about a lot of things and uh, that helped me uh, you know talk about a variety of things and you know we know all these things but it's just because of the way we think that uh, most of the time we are not able to understand all these things then uh, going forward to other activities like uh, pgt and uh, pgt fgt half group task full group task and command task the belcha concept i have been using it very well i'd seen in sir's videos so you know you keep that the concept should be very clear and then at times i was not even ahead but i was giving ideas from behind so the gdo could understand that he has some points so he used to tell that okay if you have points you can directly walk ahead and just give the solution so I, I, uh, during that point also i gave some workable solutions these helped me go ahead and during one of sir's videos he had always told us that uh, your focus should be to not to get recommended but to recommend your group so i think that is what i did and you know, I always tried and place the group above me. So I thought that whatever solution was like, I did not keep my ego ahead, but I thought Aisa nahi kabhi laga ki, ye mera solution hai, ye nahi liya. because that happened that one or two times I tried telling, but they did not listen. But I said, okay, whatsoever helps the group go ahead. I'll go ahead with that solution. So my mindset was that the group has to be recommended and it is the, the entirety of the group that needs to go ahead. So this happened after which, uh, even in the lecturate, uh, everything happened, everything helped, the five point perception, the, the brainstorming, the connectivity, all these things happened, helped me in the lecturate. As sir used to say, 
uh, I also divided a topic in the similar manner. What is it? Why is it important? What is the current status? What are the challenges and what could be the solutions? And I gave more time to the challenges and the especially more time to the solutions. So that helped me tell, talk about the topic in a different way because nobody, most of the people kept on giving information that I think half of us knew. So there was topics like demonetization or India US relations. So people knew about it. But when I told about more about its challenges and solutions, so they were very keenly listening. And I think uh, that helped me, you know, put that helped me create an impression because I think that's a very good opportunity, the lecture it, where you are all by yourself and you have a good opportunity to present yourself before the group. Uh, due to rains, we did not have the individual obstacles this time, but uh, that is not certain. So you might have it. In the group also, you will be wearing masks all the time. So just ensure that, you know, you are very attentive to whatsoever who's saying because at times there at times there could be chaos and you might not understand who's speaking so just just to try and understand who's speaking etc and apart from that i think you know i tried to maintain a discipline discipline in my timetable so while i was preparing i i gave time every day to some gto activities some interview activities some psych activities etc and as Sir so used to tell that, you know, this, uh, the interviews, the SSB interviews, it's more about your competition with yourself and not amongst the other people. So every day when I used to write my diary, I used to find scope. Where could I get better? What are the things that I could improve? Uh, where, uh, where am I lacking right now? And what did I good do good today? So I think these things, they slowly and steadily over a period of time, they helped me improvise. These past two, three months, I entirely dedicated it to SSB, to my fitness, to my relationships with my parents and my friends and my other people, my colleagues. And apart from that, I kept on gaining knowledge. I kept on practicing all these activities. So frankly speaking, uh, I, I must have gone through and I must have scrambled through each and every video that uh, sir has uploaded be it gto be it psych be it even the piq form so there's one video around more than an hour long on piq form it helped me believe me it helped me change the way i was filling the piq form we think that it is very normal but no it shows a lot about you that is the entire thing like i observed at least in the afsbs it was it is the entire thing on which your interview was based so be specific to like practice it and I think uh, there are things like the 12th story, there are things like the uh, per se, uh, the self description test. So these are the things where you can improve over the period of time and that is a very good chance. I made a lot of efforts, I have written my self description around 7 to 8 times I have refurbished my self description. My PIQ forms I used to ensure that 20 days before going to SSB, I had 20 Xerox of the PIQ form. Every day I used to fill a form. You know, going there, I did not take a lot of time. I had, like, it was already pre filled in my head and I just followed everything. I followed their instructions and I was doing. The other thing that I, uh, sorry, this is out of, out of the topic, pay close attention to all the instructions, be it GTO or the psych. So, what I was doing while I was practicing here, I was play, purely practicing that, like the TATs. What I was doing is, I was seeing the picture, I was thinking whatsoever was there in the mind and I was writing all the actions. I was specifically writing actions. But when I observed the psych assessor over there, the person who was conducting the psych, she told us that you are required to talk about, to write about your feelings, thoughts and actions. So that made me ponder because I had never written about my feelings and thoughts. So I made it, I made it a point that, you know, I will always write about my feelings and thoughts. So before every action of my hero, I told like what was the feeling that he got and what was the thought that was in his mind or what did he think before doing this certain action. So I think those made my stories a bit more organized and I tried to understood the background of the picture, the mood of the characters. I tried to identify a goal and some challenges. So I think that uh, made my entire journey a bit more smooth and these entire period that I've spent over there I enjoyed it thoroughly. I made a lot of good friends and I think that is all that counts. You know, only when you're able to enjoy that process is that you'll be able to happily clear because, uh, you know, I did a lot of uh, fun. We played a lot of pranks and all those things. And another thing is that uh, the group. So as I said, uh, since we were 54, 
out of 54 first uh, only one per one fresher got recommended chest number seven after that it was me chest number 41 chest number 42 and chest number 45 so three people three repeaters from the same group when after everything happened you know i was thinking i understood that all of us had contributed well towards the group and we had uh, togetherly helped the group grow ahead so i think you know like none of there were a lot of repeaters who were very good in fact there was one person who had also been uh, previously recommended but he was not recommended this time whereas v3 i think as far as gto is concerned our main objective was towards uh, helping the group go ahead we were thinking everything in the interest of the group our all ideas in the pgts and you know in the group planning exercise also everything was that you know what will help the group go ahead so this was how it helped me and uh, believe me i had only told uh, like i had never seen any any like i had never talked with sir the videos were the only thing that i saw and after i got recommended i thought that you know i definitely need to inform sir because uh, of course he said this something and i had following this all his all his videos and it helped me a lot so i felt the need to thank him so i called i called the academy i got in touch with sir i told him how everything that he's told me that helped me so you know sir was uh, very happy and sir like sir was on top of the world sir was like uh, ayush i can i can't tell you how happy i am to help all these people so many people who can't reach out to me or so many people who are not haven't been able to reach out to me so sir was very happy with uh, with when i told him and then he told me uh, you know that it is uh, very important that uh, you know uh, like you know you how you told us and how you came and told me and thanked me so sir was very happy so we thought that you know i wanted to share with every one of you that uh, how this entire thing is happening and how it helped me so i suggest you all to probably go through all these videos they will help you a lot and sir has kept all the channels open sir has a lot of vision after serving the nation for a very long time he wants to uh, he's very passionate about getting the youth into the forces so he's also working towards a mechanism where slowly he can make the academy free for everyone i was very stunned to know this because this is something that i don't think anyone else is thinking so this approach is unique and i think there are there must be many more people who must have benefited through the videos so i think you know i wish you all the best uh, thank you if there's anything probably my name is Ayush Halde so probably you could connect reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram or something and I will I will try my best to help you and thank you thank you all uh, you know keep the keep the fire in within you do, do not let anything stop you this is a never-ending process uh, I had people you know all these people who have recommended with me only I was the one who was in the fourth attempt, only in the third attempt. Rest of them, they had given more attempts than me. Third attempt, fifth attempt, seventh attempt. So do not lose hope if you're not got recommended. Uh, keep working on yourself. Keep noting down what are your improvements and what are your shortcomings. And note down whatever you are doing to help, uh, to come out of it. So all the best. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. I hope, like, if I'm not able to clear all your doubts, I'm really sorry, but... All I wanted to do is to actually tell you how all these exercises help me and you can also take a very good benefit out of all of these. Thank you so much. Thank you.